Welcome to day two of the Obscure Star Wars Expanded Universe series, where for 10 days I'm uploading 10 episodes of the Obscure Star Wars EU video series. And today I've got a picture book of some notoriety. Uh, my friend Magneto Alex actually made a video a, a little while ago uh, covering uh, this, and uh, channels like Matt Wilkins and Christopher Nelson have talked about it before. But I still find it super cool that this picture book exists. The Queen's Amulet is certainly an interesting case. Let's find out a bit more about it. The Queen's Amulet was released in September of 1999, exclusively coming in a hardcover with a plastic amulet. The book was written by Julianne Belmain, with art by Matilda Harrison. It was released by Chronicle Books, LLC. Chronicle Books also put out things like The Journal of Master Nostaral, The Jedi Path Book of Sith, Bounty Hunter Code and Imperial Handbook books, the Wildlife of Star Wars Field Guide, as well as the Star Wars Masterpiece Collection, which we already covered in this obscure Star Wars EU series. It takes place prior to Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, so prior to 32 BBY, and came in at a whopping 24 pages. Let's take a peek inside. So, looking at Queen's Amulet, it comes in this big bulky box uh, that is very heavy duty. Almost feels like there's some metal here, but it's basically just hardcover. You've got very pretty trimmings along the side uh, that just add quite a cool touch. Uh, I really love the cover. It's great. Her face wraps around onto the spine. And I love the font chosen. And of course, the Lucas Books logo is always amazing. Then you have this plastic section where you've got the actual amulet itself uh, so that little girls who got the book uh, could get a chance to wear the amulet that the Queen had. Genius. Absolutely genius promotion. Uh, this is written by Julianne Balmain and illustrated by Matilda Harrison. Um, Mrs. Harrison does a great job in illustrating this. Uh, it's by Chronicle Books, who made a lot of oddities, odds and ends uh, in the expanded universe, like the Master of Nostaral and the Book of Sith and the Jedi Path, stuff like that. Uh, on the back, we get a uh, little blurb about uh, the story. And we learn that uh, the amulet was made in China, uh, which I, I imagine would be expected. Ages 6 and up, and assembly required. Uh, and you'll see what that means later. Then we've got the back of the headdress, which is quite elaborate. Very fun. Uh, so opening it up, uh, you have this little box, uh, which is uh, tied together. Um, and so uh, it, it came uh, like tied in a neat little bow, uh, but due to my subpar... Uh, not making skills. Uh, I was not, never in scouts. Uh, it, it does not look good any longer. So I will uh, briefly take that out. Okay. So within here, you have this little golden box which says, Use this cord to wear your amulet and save this box to hold your amulet and other keepsakes. So the goal is to have a little secret wall back in here uh, where we can firstly get the amulet out of the spine. Look at that. Very neat. Just a little plastic metal uh, amulet, which opens up uh, so that you could put some stuff inside it. Picture of Anakin, I'd imagine. Um, and it clasps shut there as well, uh, right into there. There we go. Uh, and so it would have hung from the cord itself that is used to tie the book into place. And then the idea was that, as it said, um, it's kind of pressed down at the moment, but uh, you could uh, take this box out, put some other special stuff in there. Probably not special like my dog hair, um, but uh, we'll put we'll throw the amulet back in here uh, with its secret um, latch. Put it back in this spine place. I, I love the design of this book. It's so fun. Um, and throw that uh, back in there. Like so. And then throw uh, this gold bit over top. Uh, but not before uh, th threading the cord back through. So I guess I'll do that. Let me put it backwards. 
so it can hold the book a bit better and it won't require me tying it off. So it's a genius little contraption. I absolutely love how this the Queen's Amulet is done uh, with its setup there, so I'll set that over here. Uh, and this is what's the most important, and that's the uh, picture book itself. Star Wars Episode One: The Queen's Amulet. Again, great cover art. Uh, the authors, um, which are on the side as well. Chronicle Books logo. I love the Lucas Books logo printed up there on the side. Uh, and then you get some art of the amulet itself on the back. Chronicle Books, Lucas Books. Uh, just this tiny little hardcover. Uh, not much bigger than the size of my hand. Tiny little thing. So, uh, opening it up inside, there's some nice pictures. Uh, you have the uh, publication information. And then we have this tiny little story um, about Queen Amidala. So, Queen Amidala woke with a start. I, I won't read the whole thing, but um, this is an original story with original art. And we get a, a sizable chunk of new expanding universe material. Look how pretty Naboo is. Uh, with the art piece here, I absolutely love it. Um, and Sabe is in here as well. Uh, we have more of this uh, beautiful Naboo uh, scenery and wildlife. And again, a good amount of story content here. The Queen, of course, contemplative. And yeah, we have pretty uh, substantial paragraphs all the way through. This art is great, uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, looks like an old uh, classic style uh, children's book, and I'm sure anyone with uh, daughters uh, would absolutely love to get a chance to read this to them. Uh, it seems absolutely ideal. Uh, great, great characters uh, in here uh, that a, a little girl should absolutely love uh, getting to read about uh, these characters. Saw them in the movies, and now we get to wear their amulet and uh, read about them. Uh, so here's the amulet being gifted. And voila, the end of the story. So, quite a bit of Expanding Universe material to this uh, short picture book. Uh, it does it add much, no, but it's a nice little side story that uh, expands the universe. So we'll nestle that back in its slot there, close that up, and yeah, that's the Queen's Amulet. It's definitely obscure, maybe a little less so than it once was, because we have all these Star Wars Expanding Universe YouTubers talking about it. This used to be really hard to get its hands on. For a while, it was going for like 80 to 120 bucks. Seems like uh, that price has come down a little bit. Luckily, it's on skyrocketing up to over $100 again, because these, these were going for a pretty penny a little while ago. Um, if you can get your hands on this, great. I, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's just a really neat little odd end uh, from the Expanding Universe. So... I definitely uh, recommend looking into trying to find it because I just think it's really, really neat. Uh, really, really cool. So definitely be on the lookout for the Queen's Amulet if you can find it. It's Obscure Star Wars Expanded Universe, and I just love it. 